Emily here from NCC Campers and I'm going to give you a walk-around demonstration of all the functions and features of one of our higher Volkswagen camper vans. So in the cab you have your standard Volkswagen layout with your multifunctional steering wheel. You've got your indicators and high beam on your left hand stock and your wipers on your right. Your main light switch is just down here to the right. It's also a manual 5 speed box and you've got your touch screen head unit with all your mod cons. It doesn't have sat nav however you can play this through your phone by connecting via Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. To pair your phone just press the phone button and follow all the on screen instructions. So each hire van comes with this green pack which has all instructions on what to do in the event of a breakdown or accident. So please take 5 minutes to have a read through this at your earliest convenience. All of our vans are less than 18 months old and have no more than 15,000 miles on the clock. Your diesel cap is on the near side of the vehicle and to access this you have to open the passenger door, flip open the cover and this lets you into your diesel cap. Like most modern vehicles, this van has AdBlue. You shouldn't have to top this up during your hire, but if you do, AdBlue is available at most service stations or local garages. On the driver's side, you have your main hookup here, and you also have your water filler cap for your 20 litre onboard tank. To access this, you need to unlock it with your key and firmly push and turn. You simply just reverse the procedure to lock. So this is inside of your camper van. All of our higher vans have the same layout with plenty of storage space, twin gas hobs, gas grill, sink and fridge. All of our camper vans have a twin swivel passenger seat. These are secured via four bolts, two at the front and two at the back. To swivel you need to slacken all four bolts by turning them anti-clockwise. You then need to lift the bolts up until the pin comes through the bracket and then turn 90 degrees. Once all bolts are loose, you push the seat all the way forward and turn towards the passenger door. You then pull towards you until the bolt holes line up. You then drop the bolts back through and tighten. To turn the seat to face forward, you simply reverse the procedure. Please note you must not drive with the seats facing backwards. The roof is secured with these two straps. To put the roof up, you push open the metal clip and pull the tail of the strap out. You do this on both sides. Then you simply just push the roof up. Put the roof down, you pull down your bed, reach up for these two black straps and pull down three quarters of the way. You then want to pull in all the loose fabric on both sides and at the front. Once this is done, you just pull the roof all the way down. Both of the straps are double looped to make sure they don't fall off. To secure the roof down, you feed the strap through the bottom bracket, push open the metal clip and feed the strap back through. You then want to pull the strap tight so there is no slack. You can then tie a single knot with the excess strap. Do this on both sides. We would advise you against using the pop top roof in high winds as these can be prone to damage or risk blowing the roof down and causing harm to anyone inside. This is the rock and roll bed. To operate, you push the black lever down and slip your hand down the back of the seat and pull towards you, making sure that the seat belts are up high so they don't get caught. You then use your body weight to push down until you hear the click. Be sure not to kneel on the seat while doing this. To put the bed back up, you simply push down the black lever and push back until you hear the click. Here we have your main control panel for your lights and battery levels. To turn on your main lights, just press this button here. That will turn on your spotlights, and these are also touch sensitive, so to turn them on and off, just touch the metal ring around the outer of the light. This button here will turn on this wee strip light that goes all the way along your worktop. Below, you have the button to turn on your water. This lets your tap work like so.
three buttons on the other side show the levels of your water tank, your ledger battery and your vehicle battery. When you're driving, this VG will illuminate green to show that the leisure battery is charging. To turn off, just press the top right light button. Down here you have your three pin sockets. This will only work when you're connected to the mains. And here is your twin USB ports. These will work anytime as they're fed from the leisure battery. Here we have your diesel heater. To turn on, you press for two seconds where it'll illuminate orange. You then press and turn to set your temperature, then press and turn again to set your time. It will roughly take two minutes to heat up. To switch off, just press and hold for two seconds. So on the worktop, you've got your sink and your twin gas rings. To operate, you push and turn the knobs, then push your igniter button. We would also recommend when cooking to open your sliding door here. To open, it's a push down and slide the window across. Down here, we have your grill. So when you're cooking, you want to pull this heat shield out. It just stops any heat from rising and splitting the edging. To operate, it's the same as the gas hobs. You just push and turn and press your igniter button until it lights. Here you have your fridge. To open, you just lift the pin and pull. You also have a wee freezer compartment just here. And to turn on, you just turn your dial to preferred settings depending how cold you want it. Please keep the fridge switched off if you're not actively using it. So in the back of the camper van you have some more storage space. All of our camper vans come with everything you see here, which includes a 10 meter main to cup cable with domestic plug adapter, front windshield blinds, 10 litre jerry can for storing water plus a kettle. Our vans come with two gas bottles, one being a full spare and the other will already be fitted. To access your bottle just undo the two clips and remove the cover. When travelling, your gas should be switched off. When you're planning to cook, you just turn your gas and just loosen this red knob, anti-clockwise. To turn off, tighten the red knob. If you have to change your gas bottle, you would just undo the strap, remove the bottle and unscrew the bottle from the regulator. Do the reverse to fit the new bottle. In this cupboard, you have your fuse boxes. This is your fuse box. Then below you have your trip box, so if anything trips in the camper van, you want to check in here to make all switches are facing up. Next to it, you have this black box, and there is an on-off switch. When you connect to the mains, you must push this switch on, where it will illuminate orange to show your van is getting power from the mains. This is where you'll find the handle to operate your awning. Once you have your handle, you want to wind your awning out about two feet. The legs of the awning are mounted in the middle. You want to push the outer end of the leg towards the middle to release, then pull all the way out. You then want to swivel the leg round and down. Then you lift the cap to release the tab and you want to pull that down. This will let the leg slip all the way down to the floor, then you just push the tab down to lock. Once locked in place, just put the leg out at an angle and do this on both sides. You can then wind the awning all the way out, moving the legs as you go. You then want to pin the awning legs down. Please don't use the awning in windy conditions as this can be prone to damage. To put the awning away, just reverse the procedure. Slip up the cap and lift the tab. Put the cap back down, slide up the leg, turn and then push all the way to the middle. The end of the leg will then slot into the awning edge. Once your legs are both in and secured, just wind the awning all the way in until flush. We hope you enjoy your holiday from all at STC Campers.